Hello everyone. Once again, this is Stormy Cloud 21. And now I'm bringing you a Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series, 118th scale dinosaur action figure review. Today we have Nasuta Ceratops. This is the footprint of the dinosaur right there. Here is the side of the packaging, Beast of the Mesozoic. 118th scale, Ceratopsian series, of course. Here is the top of the box. 19 points of articulation, realistic movement, and detail. A profile card included, number seven. There's that name again. And then looking on the back of the packaging, here is kind of like that profile card, but with a, a sleeve that fits on this box, a slider and that has all the information about this dinosaur and the artwork. Here is wave one checklist. I'm going to take this off so we can get a better look. And then if you look underneath, here are the people involved in the project. Check out creativebeast.com, the dinosaur toy revolution, join it. And then here is that UPC for this item. I love the artwork on this. This is so amazing. Look at the water splashing of this creature moving about through the dense swamp, jungle, forest, whatever it is. So cool. So I say we open this up, check it out. How do you say the scientific name down here? Okay, there's the Nasuta Ceratops. Is it Tatusi or is it Taitusi? I don't know, but cool stuff. So let's check it out. So first of all, you're gonna take the sleeve off without knocking over my ring light. So there's the sleeve right there that we just had on that box with all that information on there. And I'm gonna set that back here. Here is a shot. Now you can see a little more in that window of the dinosaur with the sleeve out of the way. Going on the back of the packaging, there is Ceratopsian Series Wave 1 Checklist. Zuni Ceratops, Chasmosaurus, Nasuta Ceratops, Sty, St uh, Styracosaurus, Medusa Ceratops, Protoceratops, Triceratops, sub-adult by the way, Diablo Ceratops, and Psittacosaurus, Beast of the Mesozoic. And this is wave one, and I have all of wave one, minus one of the boxes and profile cards. But other than that, I have all of them. And I should be reviewing this one next. So I have reviewed uh, all these other ones to some extent um, in the past, except for the one I'm reviewing now, obviously, and this one. Um, and that one right before. So these are are fully articulated action dinosaur figures. Um, they also include a color display backdrop. When we open the box, we will see that as well. Let's open it up. Let's take a look inside. Been a busy day. I'm super tired, but I like dinosaurs. So we're pulling out the, the figure. We'll pull out the backdrop here in a little bit. That was the profile card back here. So before we do anything, we need to get a picture of this. So let's do that and start the review. Before we remove this creature from the packaging, let's look at this. This is what you need to know to put the tail on the dinosaur. You use some warm water or a hairdryer for at least 20 seconds to help heat that rubber up and get that on there more simple. Or if you're me and it's a smaller dinosaur, you just try to do it anyway without warm water and sometimes you succeed. Here is the profile card. Look at the amazing artwork, all those colors. Look at the green in there, the red, oranges, maybe yellows, so, and some brown. So amazing, black as well. Wow, dense jungle, water splash, stepping through the water. And then if you look on the back of the packaging, really cool picture, even with the plants right there, there's information on this dinosaur. Very cool stuff. Number seven. All right, well, let's try to get this dinosaur together with the tail and start looking up close. 
So here is that tail for this Ceratopsian dinosaur. You've got some reds, you've got some whites, you've got some green, lighter green, darker green, yellow. Maybe even a little black mixed in, who knows. And then here is your dinosaur, the Nasuta Ceratops. There is the back. Looks like we have some writing in there, PH3. I've seen that a lot. So that is to help recognize where parts will go together. You're supposed to, I know, heat this up and stuff, but if you're me and it's a smaller size dinosaur, you try to get it on there anyway. All right. So again, I got that tail on there, but it was nearly one of the hardest things of my entire life. And usually for a small Ceratopsian, that is not the case, but I really had a hard time getting on there. I only nicked the paint just a tiny bit right there probably. <laughs> But this thing is on there for good now. And it goes side to side, back and forward. You have to be concerned about paint rub if you're too hard with these figures. So now this leg can go forward and back. Really good on this figure, actually. This figure is a lot worn. Maybe it came from somewhere warm or I don't know. It seems like the articulation is really good on that leg already. It's so loose out of the box. But the knee joint, on the other hand, that's going to take some time before I can bring that back. So we might want to wait. But then there is some forward movement um, right here. A little bit, not much. Some swivel in that back foot. Okay. There's some riding on the bottom there. Um, there is outward movement right there. There is forward movement, backward movement. It looks like the plastic is a little worn right there on the scales and stuff, but that's how it came from the factory, from the box. There is front bend right there. You also have swivel. You also have swivel right here in the front foot. Go all the way around and you can adjust it forward and back. And then here is the back leg on the other side. You can see it is not struggling at all to articulate very well with those back legs. So I can't do this part right yet because that will probably damage the figure. But this can. This part is not wanting to to do that yet. Now look at all the colors. You have this reds, you have the white or, actually that's, that's actually a light blue. It looks like white, but with the light shining on it, I can tell this is a light blue. And then you've got greens and like almost like a black mixed in, dark green, and then the yellow, and then you've got white underneath or cream coloration. And so, here is that Ceratopsian neck. You can, let's see, that head, it, uh, there we go. You can turn side to side right there. Of course, you're gonna have to watch paint rub in the future. You can look down with the, the figure. You can look up, but then you're gonna have the paint rub problem. You can probably go down further. Maybe. Okay, so the jaw, the jaw actually opens too wide. That's not normal. So you're just gonna wanna probably bring it out to there. But so you can have to watch because you can really see inside there and see all those parts. And that, that doesn't look natural. So you don't wanna bring it forward that far. I mean, that, that's not gonna look right, right? So. When you articulate, you probably want to bring it out about that far. 
and you hear it and snap back shut right back there look at the paint on the nose you have like a like a red coloration right there you've got a bunch of reds all right here on the frill all of these really good amounts of texture on the frill and then you've got the whites the reds the yellow the greens um even painted there that's so cool the nostril the eyes being green and then yellow eyes with like a black pupil uh, the horns that one hmm. the horns i hope those are on there good because they don't look like it the horn the horn looks like it's going to come out this one i don't know that looks on there pretty good but the way that's fastened in there looks like it could almost come out of there right there doesn't it looks like it could but it's on there hmm interesting and you've got some more green up here and then you've got oh this is a brown color with some yellow on that beak probably because that's the base color underneath here and that's just what's showing through um to add texture so that's probably the case of what's going on these are nice um they're like brown actually these horns um i thought they were more of a black but they're actually like brown and they come down and they meet with some black at the end so behind the frill and you can see it's yellow back there and there's some green of course also, you have some torso movement, and I believe this is another one of those torsos that, you know, this is one that they used on several other dinosaurs um, to save money and to help, you know, you have a different head sculpt, but you can use the same parts for, a, for legs and torso and tail and stuff like that to help be cost effective. So this would be maybe the sixth Time they've used this body style. I, I'm pretty sure this is on Eanosaurus and uh, maybe uh, Centrosaurus, the smaller version. Um, some of these they um, use the same body torso. So that's very interesting to see it in a totally different paint color each time. Also, you can look inside here. You can see it's pink in the mouth. You can make out some teeth way back there in there. Uh, a little bit of mist paint right there where it looks yellow right there um, at the end of the tongue, but no biggie really. And you know, close that. And uh, it's a beautiful creature. It's a great one to add to my collection. It looks tons different because it's scientifically accurate stuff. So it looks tons different than the Mattel version. Um, I like this dinosaur very much. I'm very glad to have it. It's a nice new addition. And so here is the backdrop for this one. Again, another type of swamp with really thick swamp trees. Something you'd find like in Florida or Arkansas. Also very swampy like the bayou in Louisiana. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. I want to thank you for watching this review. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. See more cool stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching and talk soon.